watching KITV4 News at 10, Hawaii's only one-hour late newscast. Pastor Joel Osteen reaches millions around the world through his televised sermons and podcasts. He also heads the country's largest house of worship called Lakewood Church in Houston. Osteen arrived on Oahu tonight ahead of his two services at the Blaisdell Arena tomorrow. Now, before a book signing appearance tonight, KITV4's Pamela Young sat down with a popular pastor for a one-on-one -on -one interview. Every day is a Friday. At least it is for Pastor Joel Osteen. It's that philosophy that's kept him smiling every week at his services at the Compact Center in Houston, where 30,000 people fill the seats every Sunday. And now his Bible-based message comes to Honolulu. Hawaii has such a diverse population, not just in terms of race and culture, but also in religion. And your message is very Bible-based. How do you expand that message to include an audience that might not be predominantly Christian? You know, I think when you talk about the scriptures and you make them practical, well, everybody faces challenges of how to forgive or how to have a good attitude or, you know, how to love one another. And so I think the, the message in the scripture is very broad. It can help anyone live a better life. And so we just try to make it uh, very practical. Uh, this is an election year. And although the candidates say that religion is not an issue, a lot of voters disagree, what role do you think faith plays in choosing a president? Well, I think your religion and your faith is so much a part of who you are. And so for me, just personally, it's good for me to know what a candidate stands for, what his faith is, what he believes, because it's a part of his character. That would let me know how he would govern, how he would make hard decisions. So. I don't, I don't, I think it's important. I don't really think you can separate it from who the person is. Is there anything that still surprises you about human behavior? I think that, um, I don't know if it surprises me, but I see that people are, whether you're rich, poor, black or white, Asian, any color, we all face the same challenges in relationships and health issues. And I think that there comes a point in everybody's life that you need faith. You need to believe that there's something bigger than yourself. And so I think that doesn't necessarily surprise me. The other part that I like is that I, the most people I meet, they have a good heart. They want to do the right thing. They've made this wrong decision. Some of them, you know, some of the most people we think are the worst in the world, their heart is good. They just, they've just got off course somewhere. So I'm a big believer in that every person has something good on the inside and they've got a purpose and a destiny. People who have seen your interview say that you're immune to criticism. Is that so? Yeah, I don't think about it much. I really don't dwell on it. I realize that anytime you're making a difference, you're going to be criticized for something. And so I just try to search my own heart every morning and say, you know what, God, am I doing the right thing on the path that you want me to go on? And so, you know, if I feel good about that and believe that I can stand before God, I don't, I don't really think much about it. How do we make every day a Friday? I think you can make every day a Friday, but number one, when you get up in the morning, you have to find something to be grateful for. You know, a lot of times we focus on the wrong things, and so, happiness is so much about our perspective. So I believe if you find something to be grateful for, and then if you go out and, and focus on being good to somebody else. I always tell people, if you'll make somebody else's day, God will make your own day. And so I think there's simple things that we can do. The right perspective can help us to have a great day every day. The Joel Osteen Honolulu services are Friday at the Blaisdell at 1 and 7.30. In Kahala, Pamela Young, KITV4 News. Okay, now this is pretty interesting. Pastor Osteen and uh, Lakewood Church recently signed a deal with the producer of the show Survivor. Yeah, they're going to be producing a reality show featuring members of the church going out to communities to help others.